Oh man, wow, okay. Just in time to not have to start streaming late. That's good. That's good. I'm not gonna screw up my streaming schedule for this. All right, did it. Uh, let's see, 577 attempts. Yeah, like, probably like a twenty. Very hard tier, hard tier, insane demon, most likely. I think it's very fun. I looked. I saw the verification of this like really soon after it was posted to YouTube, and I was like, oh yeah, I want to try this. This looks very fun. Uh, I couldn't try it for a while because the level had a start position in it. But, I mean, I got updated to fix that, and now I got around to it today. And for the most part, it is really fun. I think that the base gameplay in this level is great. No issues in that regard. The problem is that there are some some, some issues. There are some issues. Uh, mostly within the second half. I will say this level is definitely very second half heavy. Even if all the, the problematic stuff was fixed, I still think it would be second half heavy. Uh, that's for sure. All the learnier, more intricate parts are in the second half, and I think that the first, like, two parts of the drop and the pre-drop are all just generally pretty easy. Yeah, no real issues with the pre-drop, aside from the spider click at 14, there is an invisible spike on the part on the block that you have to land on, and that makes that a lot harder. It's unfair, it's still not hard per se, but it shouldn't be there. There shouldn't be an invisible spike there. Yeah, the first two parts of the drop, Pretty much non-issues, although I, I think one time I died because to the slope ship transition in the second part of the drop because I just got launched too far down, but that was probably how I entered it with the wave and it only happened one time, so really not a big deal. Then you get to the part after that. So this part, and just in general, like this part and a few later parts have the issue of having the blocks move into place, but not removing the layout blocks. From, the, from when the initial gameplay was built. So there's essentially duplicate invisible hitboxes for this part, the, the, the next two parts, that, not the part right after, but the two parts after that, when, like the 60s with the, with the duels. Those two parts have this issue as well. Now, I think it's not as bad in the first part I'm talking about, the part at like 40, but because it's not as bad there because the layout blocks that are static are visible they're not invisible they still are there you can see them you can react to them and that makes stuff like certain timings feel fair despite the fact that they shouldn't be like that in the first place they don't think those should exist however there still are issues with that part big issue is the spike crosses right because there's like four spikes arranged to like form a cross as the obstacles that are essentially a replacement for saws in this part. The problem is that they have saw hitboxes over them. The saw hitboxes are bigger than the entire structure itself. So you end up dying to air pretty much because you got too close to the spikes even though they aren't the things that are actually killing you. It's invisible saws. Those need to be removed because they're very unfair. In addition, I think the one part where the layout blocks not being removed is a huge issue is the UFO at the end of that part because if you click too early you will get bonked down you will get sent down back down as the second slope by, by the second slope this, there are two slopes there you can't click er, super early after the first one because you the second one will just send you down instead I thought that was really unfair I ended up doing a spacebar click to because just simply get, hitting the timing window to where one click would line you up properly for the green orb and the blue orb afterwards was like ridiculously hard it, it was just 
because most of the time you're just too low. You hit the, you do your click, you hit the green orb, and you just can't survive because you just run right into the spikes. I think that part is really unfair. I'd rework there. I would 100% advise. Uh, part afterwards, no issues. Uh, then you get to the duels. The duels, like I said, it has a similar issue with uh, the layout blocks still being there, being invisible, and having duplicate hit boxes in some case. Although in this case, in the first duels, it's not bad. That isn't really an issue. However, there are two issues. One is related to that, to where there is at the robot spider duel. When you're climbing up as the robot, like when you're jumping up uh, the few platforms, there is a saw. I don't remember the percentage, but there is a saw that there's an invisible saw that is one both bigger than the saw that moves into place, uh, and it's also just you hit that instead. And I have, I ran into that a few times where I was just yeah dying to air because there's invisible hitboxes there that are bigger than the ones that would be of the objects that are visible. As well as the fact that there's a really hard micro click. Uh, the last click of the ball cube duel is a micro click. There are no J blocks uh, on the cube side of things. And I think that's a probably pretty bad. Again, it wasn't that bad for me because I'm not, I'm good at micro clicks. I don't struggle with them, but to people who do struggle with them, I can imagine that being extremely annoying, especially from zero. Uh, and I would absolutely advise adding J blocks there. Uh, then we get to Robiani's part with the, I thought it was kind of unfair that after the what, uh, second orb from the end with the UFO, the yellow orb there, you can just hit your head on the structure right above you, which causes you to be impossible. It, I mean, you, you'll die, obviously, because you hit your head there. But the, what's what's an, the issue for me with that is not that is that you're looking at the wave the whole time, right? It's a wave UFO duel. You are looking at the wave, and the UFO is just supposed to play itself. And it's also heavily dependent. Uh, your UFO's position is heavily dependent on clicks way beforehand. So it, it really just felt unfair whenever I died like that. I was able to mitigate that by the time I started playing from zero to where I never died there from zero but again still an issue I have the ship afterwards I don't I mean the gap with the yellow gravity portal is hard it's just generally hard there's no hitbox shenanigans there it's just hard it felt like a choke point the only real semblance of a choke point in this level however the gap after that with the uh, with the blue gravity portal there is a hitbox issue there is, because there is the duplicate hitboxes that I was talking about, which there it means that there is an invisible slope. It's the slope. You can get caught on the slope by flying just in, in a way that should not kill you because you'll just get caught on the tip of the invisible slope. Your momentum will be canceled. You'll just, you'll just go straight and you will hit a spike. That happened to me from zero. That was not fair. Uh, those invisible slopes need to be deleted for sure. Uh, like the visible one is, in a fine position it's not gonna do anything but the invisible one yes that ne needs to go uh the part after that uh oh yes yes the part after that because it's not that oh okay i did die once to the bottom cube when i was at the trigger orbs uh that should probably not be a thing that can happen fine because the bottom orb jumped because i was lined up for the trigger orbs in a way where my the, i hadn't had not hit the non-dual portal yet and i died like that that's not particularly Fair, but that only happened once although that one time it happened was from zero so that wasn't fun but the transition from the trigger orbs that you hit into the ship is bugged it, it is just bugged there are times where you can hold into the ship portal like you're supposed to there's no nuance there you just hold and you will hit a spikes uh, on the on your way up you can't survive uh, that did happen from zero once uh, it was really it's bullshit that needs to be fixed. The one spike structure that you do hit needs to be moved down. Beyond that, I don't really have any issues with the level. The rest of it is fine. No no problems. But yeah, there's definitely some things that I think definitely could use uh, a bit of a polish. Some parts that have hitbox issues. Uh, invisible objects that are not fair. But I mean, overall, this is very fun. If those things were ironed out, I can would very confidently recommend this level. And I think it definitely should get rated, even if this stuff isn't fixed. I mean, the decorations definitely of a rate-worthy quality. I think the parts from like T for one up through Robiani's parts, those that stretch of four parts is definitely my favorite decoration-wise. I think it's the strongest decoration-wise. It's a little bit inconsistent outside of that, 
but still at the quality of a average rated level so yeah really no reason this shouldn't be rated although i do think that there are definitely gameplay tweaks that should be made uh in an optimal world but yeah it's uh overall i did enjoy this i just wish there weren't all those frustrating aspects of the gameplay that i talked about and yeah ggs